Work hard, play hard, stack dough, live well, get away, stay on the island in my own When rap mogul Ryan Leslie's MacBook was stolen during his European concert tour, his video plea for its return went viral along with his promise of a one million dollar reward. The recovery of a black bag we believe was stolen last night, October 23rd, from outside of this club. If anybody has seen anything or heard anything, please contact us at Ryan Leslie, laptop return at gmail.com. On Leslie's MacBook was his latest album, which he hadn't yet released, and other valuable intellectual property. He was desperate to get it back. Soon after the award was announced, German auto shop owner Armin Augustine contacted Leslie, saying that he'd found the laptop. But when Augustine asked for his reward money, Leslie refused to pay. So, yeah, we did find it, but the intellectual property that I put the reward up for was not actually contained on the, on the property that was returned and so uh, I had to re-record my album from scratch. So did you have to pay the money still? I, I don't believe that it would be fair for me to do so, um, especially being that really the reward was for the intellectual property that was contained on there. I mean, I could always go buy a laptop for $2,000. That's true. Augustine sued Leslie for the reward money and after a lengthy legal battle, the jury ruled in his favor. A jury of my peers, eight people, they looked me in my face and told me I had to pay this man one million dollars for music I never got back. When is someone morally obliged to keep a verbal commitment? When should the courts of law step in to enforce such commitments? What do you think? <laughs>